one of the biggest problems we have in Florida is the number of suspensions people are given in our state. I would say the vast majority of the individuals who come into our system with suspended license are really lower income individuals, working poor type individuals who just usually cannot afford to pay all the traffic tickets that they have uh, that are outstanding. Uh, please make sure you have your phone call. If you have a good driver's license, have it ready in your hands. Good, I mean, that's not suspended. You took care of your tickets. There are many hardships when someone loses their license because you can't drive to do the basic necessities of everyday life. You can't have gainful employment because they don't want to hire you because you have a suspended license. So it kind of creates this immense hardship in every area that affects you on a daily basis. The importance of having your driver's license uh, is not just to that individual, but it's to all of us as a community. The spiral effect of this is enormous on several different fronts. They usually lose their insurance, so they become a higher risk to the entire community. So the cost to other drivers is enormous because everybody's insurance rates are raised because of the number of people without insurance. They then get arrested and they lose their job, and so they're no longer paying taxes into the tax system. So there's a loss of revenue to the rest of the Floridians. They end up in jail. The cost to the county taxpayers is enormous. And then once they have a record, it can make it harder for them to keep their housing. It makes it harder for them to get their employment. And these are all over driving issues. Uh, for working people, uh, the fees and fines that they owe, that's money that is not going to the economy, but that is money that's going to the government. The reality is, we got away from using fines and fees for punishment about 10 years ago, and we use fines and fees to fund the government. Uh, and that is not what fines and fees were intended for. To me, it's unconstitutional what we're doing with fines and fees because they're clearly excessive. It also disproportionately affects people of color. They often get pulled over more, they often get more tickets, and then they end up deeper into our system as a result of what goes on with these issues. And these aren't like bad people who are intentionally committing offenses. They're just trying to support their families and it's often difficult for them to get to work so they continue to drive. Unfortunately, it pulls a lot of people into the criminal system who would not be here otherwise. We need to take a really good hard look at it and see if there would be a more effective way uh, to help people keep their licenses valid and not put them in the criminal justice system when they're not criminals.